Good evening, friends. How are you? Guess what we're going to do? We're going to finish up a DIY that we were going to do the other night. So I'm going to show you the inspiration from it. Come on in. If you see that like button, that means you've got me on re sorry, live. Otherwise, you caught me on replay, okay? And make sure that you put hashtag replay. Ready for this? I hope you all. All right. So you're going to need one of these wall hangers rounds that we were talking about from Dollar Tree. Um, this was from their haunted house or words. Okay. We're going to use the frame. Do y'all remember? Does anybody remember yet what we're doing? Remember we made this pretty bow that we were going to be putting on a different DIY, which was this pumpkin, but I did not want to obstruct all of the view of it. So we changed out the bow instead and put this pretty floral on it. So now that we have this pretty bow, we couldn't let it go to waste. Hello, Wanda. So who's ready for this? So we are gonna paint the background white because we're gonna be putting an image that's gonna be framed out inside of this, okay? So, welcome April, hi Penny, hi Billy. Hello, Ruby Ann, hi Brenda. How are you, Lisa? Y'all are gonna choose from A, it's only going to be the pumpkins and the sunflower. B, pumpkins and the sunflower. Or C, the pumpkins too. And we'll just make it fit in the scenery there. So y'all pick from this three. Okay, because we're going to make it work going in the very center. A, B, or C. All right. Hello, Terry. How are you? Good evening. While you're deciding, a lot of you are saying B and C. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paint this. We're going to paint it white because we are going to be putting an image on it. And anytime that you're going to be putting an image on anything, you always want to use the background kind of, you know, a white color so that the image does not change color. A lot of you are saying B. A lot of you are choosing this one, which I'm kind of surprised. I'm really surprised because I honestly thought you were going to choose A. So there you go. There's that. Now the A, we were not going to add the trimming to the bottom of it. So it was only going to be the inside image. Alrighty, here we go. Let's get our coat down first. Um, got a little hair in here and then we'll finish up. But I was really surprised. Now you guys are tying it up. Now you're saying A. Now I'm seeing more A's than I was B. Oh, thanks, Paulette. This is one of my aprons I have in my stash. I have in my stash. No, Clay's team did not win last night. They had a lot of injuries um, to his teammates. Three of his teammates were taken out of the game last night, and they were some valuable players. So, um, yeah, it was kind of sad. We drove three hours away. The other team was also a very large boy. They were large boys. I thought they were either in college. Yeah, I thought they were in college. I didn't think that they were 14 and 15 year olds. So, you like the one with the three? Um, must be this one. I'll take it out of the package and decide. We'll see which one looks best after I put all this up there. So anyhow, yeah, they did not win but it's okay. Um, they, thankfully we had an actual doctor on premises last night because one of his teammates broke his collarbone so badly that the arm was just dangling off. It was just awful. It was awful. Um, he was in a lot of pain. 
and then another one broke a finger. So it's a brutal sport. I mean, I'm grateful that Clay didn't get injured, but it could easily be any of that happened to any of them. Um, and the third one got hit pretty hard that he was tapping out. I mean, he, like, you could tell he was very dizzy. So he might have just to take precautions, making sure that he didn't suffer a, you know, concussion. You gotta be careful when that comes to that stuff. I mean, I know the boys love their sports, but it's tough watching them. Yeah, I know football is a dangerous sport. Why do you think it took this mother over five years for me to finally let him in there? But the only reason I finally decided to let him play the sport, the truth is, is because it's like the Lord was telling me, you're living in fear of what could be. And how many of us do that? It's like producing anxiety of a situation that hasn't happened yet. You get what I'm trying to say? I mean, I want to protect him and I want to, you know, keep him healthy and I want to do all things. But I also have to allow him to live a little bit and make choice, you know, make those choices and, um, you know, still try to guide him within reason. So believe me, this mom does not take it easy. Don't take it lightly either. I pray every week as the week's coming up, Lord, just a hedge of protection over him in the name of Jesus. Happy Saturday, Ruby. Yeah, just got to support them the best you can and just, you know, and I know that there's a lot of other, there was other injuries from the other team as well that they were, uh, there was like five of them, I want to think, that was on the sideline. One of them had a uh, broken ankle. Another one was a broken leg. Another one, he had suffered a really bad, bad concussion the following, the week prior, and they still wasn't going to let him back in the game. Um... Your son played hockey. That's a very brutal sport, too. Hockey's not for the faint heart, either. It's a, it's a very uh, physical game. You're exactly right. You're doing the right thing, praying for him and the best that you can do. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Because if I do otherwise and keep telling him no, guess what I'm setting him up for? living in fear of what could happen that has not happened. And I'm not ready to do that to my son. He needs to be a man and face some of those things as a man. Um, and football's a brutal sport. So hard, you know, life is going to be hard for him. So I can't sugarcoat it. Life's going to be hard. She's like, so right, Sally. <laughs> I didn't get to see what Sally said. All righty. I think we got a good coat on here. Well, I'm glad that you agree. Not everybody agrees with me. But, you know, again, it's, we got to do what we think is best for each child. Thank you, Kathleen. I've had these earrings for quite some time. A couple of years ago, I sold them in my shop. All right, so the back is done. Let me go ahead and get that dry. Your son played football. Um, I see you as a kicker. Let me tell you, I didn't get to see the rest of it. Um... Well, thanks, Kathleen. I didn't put any makeup on. <laughs> I did use my skincare today, though. Your youngest one plays basketball. Well, Clay's also going to play basketball. Um, there's five of his teammates that's actually on the team that's um, at our church. So, Becky's like, you don't need makeup. Oh, well, thank you. I guess feeling over 50 sometimes sometimes I feel like it and y'all you want a confession do y'all want to know what I'm wearing on my bottom half 
Well, I am wearing underwear. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was funny. That deserves some funny faces. Um, I'm wearing my pajamas. They're pink and polka dotted. I love Lucy would be proud of my pajama bottoms, y'all. She would love them. Life is full of challenges and keep up your good work. Thank you so much. I'm just trying my best. Question, Clay's homeschooled. Does he play? The, yes. Uh, Clay doesn't pay for our church, but he does play for a local church that does um, sports. She's like, you go, girl. He's playing for um, Geneva Christian Academy. She's like, I'm 82. Makeup is a must for me. Go, Dolores. I love you and your spunky girl. Love it. My grandson played eighth grade football, offensive tackle. Um, this Nana Hart plays, praise daily. Yeah. Clay plays both offensive and defensive. Crafting isn't comfortable. Yeah, exactly. We got to be comfortable. All right. This is almost dry. And then I can show you. Because we are going to paint the frame that we're going to put over the top of this. But before we paint the frame, what's going to be most important is we're going to have to decide which one of these. Thank you. You like my apron that we want to put in the middle. So I know a lot of you were going for this one, which was B. But I want to place that in the center. It's got a little bit of a yellow tint to it. Not a big deal. But keep in mind, we're going to paint this. It's not going to stay this color, okay? But I just want you to all see, like, what image would fit best in here. And we'll have to do probably a little bit of blending and all that, okay? The craft dryer came from one of my dearest, dearest followers that has been with me from the very beginning I started my page. She died, unfortunately, a year ago yesterday on my daughter's birthday. October 6th of kidney cancer and um, she got that for me for my birthday lot I think it was last year or the year prior so I hope to be able to keep that forever in memory of her all right so anyhow we can go with this one because again we're gonna make this it's gonna be a hanger okay so there's that one a lot of you were that was B all right that's all right. Her name was Joyce Knight, and she was loved by so many on this page, y'all. Hey, Chantel. Whoop, whoop. I know. It, yep, it was a year yesterday, and I won't forget it. I won't forget it because she also passed not long after my dad passed away from cancer. Um, your best friend's birthday is the same day as your daughter's. Oh, that's sweet. We all love Joyce. Okay, we're, I'm just going to fold this because I want y'all to get this out of your head. That's not going to go on here. But this is our other option, which was going to be A. So y'all need to keep telling me if this is what you want. Ooh, Terry, thank you for telling me. I appreciate that. So let's, let's see that. All right. Oh, that's pretty too, y'all. What do you think? So that was A, but a lot of you were choosing B. Uh, I'm liking A a lot. Just saying. I'm liking A a lot. So if y'all want to change your mind, put it down in the comments. But no, let me show you C. Ready to see C? This is C. And I'm going to tell you, I love these napkins. It's like all of my favorite colors. Oop, I just ripped that one. Um, all of my favorite colors that I, I favor this year is in this napkin as well. So, I feel like I can't go wrong. I ripped the other side of this. So, I'm going to show you. Again, we would have to fold this because that's not going to be in there. Ooh, y'all, y'all might, y'all might change your mind. All right, I'm going to fold that over a little bit. And I'm going to fold this one over a little bit because it's got the blue and the orange in it. And let's just pick this baby up. 
And let's put that down here and try to fold that napkin so you don't see the edges. Give me a second. I can cut it. I will be able to cut it. All right, so here is C. Oh, that's gorgeous too, y'all. So for me, it's either A or C. Did that confuse you? I know, y'all. Okay. All right, girls. I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. I think you're going to agree with me, right? Are you agreeing with me finally? I think you finally agree with me. All right, so we're going to put our glue down. Shelly, isn't that pretty? So with that said, what we'll do is we're going to take the frame and the portions that I want to get in here the most. Which will be the blue pumpkin and the orange. And that little bit of wheat, if I can get it in there. Because, oh yeah, there we go. I'm going to get a little bit of that wheat because I like the, the height on that side. Okay. This one did come from Dollar Tree. Yes, it did. So everything I have right here, girls, you can make this look like a designer from Dollar Tree. All right? I'm just using my imagination. That's all this girl's doing. And you can do the same. All right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this marker. And I'm going to come around. We're going to paint this frame, so don't, don't be too afraid that I got some pink marker on it because, you know, I make mistakes from time to time. I like that again. And we're just going to trace it so we know where we're going to be cutting it out and then having to glue it in there. So there's no guessing about it, y'all. There's no guessing about it. And it's pink, so good luck. Googly moogly. There is no guessing of where the line is for this one, girlfriend. Okay. So, pull that off. I got my circle. We're going to go ahead and cut that. And then we'll separate it. You're so excited. Yay, Denise. That makes my heart so happy. Hi, Natalie. Hey, see, uh, look, 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 Sherry. <laughs> Sorry. My tongue was having a little lapse of a moment there. Uh, Lisa Robertson, how are you? You love these napkins? Aww. Are you, gar are you girls seeing any of these napkins in your Dollar Tree right now? Anybody? Are y'all seeing these in your Dollar Tree? Let me turn them just a little bit around it. Hey, Pat. Hey, Jane. I need to put some of this in um, for some of you this week when we do um, our appreciation of just saying thank you for being here. Let's see. I'm in Michigan. Any of you are getting to experience any fall weather yet? Because here in Florida tomorrow and Monday, we're supposed to experience some 60s which means I will be able to break out my boots, y'all. Do y'all know how excited that makes me be? Makes me be so happy. And I have my own vocabulary for those that like to correct me. It's okay. I'm fine with being corrected. And I'm trimming around this like very gently because I don't want to make any mistakes. And I also don't want to get the pink on there too. She's like, Hi, 56. Where do you live? Tell me where you live. Texas. Started today. Whoa, yes. Indiana. I hear Indiana is getting some cooler weather. 
and I'm so jealous. I think Chantel Hagen's uh, near, are you near Chicago, girl? I don't know if you're still with me or not. Texas is experiencing, y'all, it's not fair, because I know how hot it can be in Texas, because I was there a couple of months ago. Y'all, if you're going to be experiencing cooler weather, Florida better be getting it too. I'm putting in, Lord, do you hear me? Mother Nature needs to bring in some cooler weather. Oop, I almost ripped this, which would not have been good, y'all. I would have been very unhappy with myself if I would have ripped that. All right, there, we got that off. Um, 40s? What? In the 40s? Lucky you. In the 40s, I'd be opening up my windows. I'd be letting a breeze in the house. At night, especially. My husband gets froze out. If It's 70 in the house. And I love it at 70 in the house because this girl's experiencing hot flushes and I need, I need my AC. That or we're going to have to have two separate houses or something because I can't live in hot weather. How in the world, I'm thinking to myself, you know, back in the 50s and 60s, maybe even 70s before there was even air conditioning. How in the world did you ladies that were going through menopause make it? I would have been passed out like y'all better be carrying a bag of ice and put, you know, let me have an ice bath several times a day. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Got my perfect circle because I would not be okay. Mm -mm. I wouldn't be okay. Tell Patrick layer up. <laughs> 40s for you? Oh, yes. Oh, is the tree starting to... I'd love to see the colors and the, of the trees. My husband and I were just talking about that last night. Um, no AC tonight? Yes, girl. Menopause is horrible. You are so right, Peggy. But what I was going to say, y'all don't mind. I lick my finger when it comes to my napkin. Some people like to use tape and sometimes I'll do that too but it was a uh, it was a private joke when Joyce was alive and she was here on the page um, one time I was trying to get this napkin undone and it was like three apply and this thing would not come undone for nothing and she just said lick it meaning lick my fingers so I did and it worked so it was a joke ever since then um, I like to lick my fingers <laughs> There goes Chantel said, just lick it. <laughs> so when you girls see that in the comments and somebody's saying something, just lick it. That's what it means. Nothing else. Just that. Right, Chantel? <laughs> You're cold already? Drinking hot tea? All right. All right. This looks like it's going to be in the perfect setting of where we're going to put it at. So now... Let's get started with spreading out that glue. Um, Y'all, I'm going to tell you a true story that happened as we were driving down to my son's game last night. We left here. It's a three-hour drive from where we are. So we left here. Um, I want to say about an hour before the actual GPS says that we're supposed to be down there. One, in case we ran into traffic, hopefully we could find something on the way to eat because um, we knew it would be too late to grab dinner afterwards. And so, uh, she's like, click it real good. <laughs> Stop it, Melanie. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> um, as we're driving down the road, I drove up like three-fourths of the way. Um, going up there and we were less than 20 minutes from our destination 
and I had to go potty really bad. So I was like, honey, I have got to pull over at a gas station something because we literally, there ain't nothing, nothing but trees and just nothing on that drive there. Like no civilization anywhere. But let me tell you, the only civilization that we could find out in the middle of nowhere, you'd see a Dollar General pop up somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. Nothing would be there, not even a gas station, but there would be a Dollar General there. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding? Hey, Hannah, you did. It was hilarious. Um, so we counted how many Dollar Generals that we passed on our way there. It was hilarious. I think we passed. All right, let me make sure I get this right. Because this is going to be right here in the very center. Um, all right, and I don't want to be off. Please don't me mess up. Don't make me mess up. Okay, I need to pull it up just a little. Just a little bit. And um, so here it is. You know, we're passing all these Dollar Generals. And I was like, honey, if I can't find a gas station to stop off to go potty at the next one, I am going to the Dollar General. He's like, oh, no, if you get that Dollar General and you find something you like, we will not get there. <laughs> he was joking. I'm like, I'm not going to go live. I'm not going to do any of that. I just got to go potty. So anyhow, long story short, we finally get a gas station. Pull over. And y'all, the bathroom was very clean. I was very impressed with the bathroom at this gas station. However, I was scared to use the bathroom in that gas station. Because when I walk in... The lights are off, but before I turn on the lights, I see these glowing eyes looking at me. And I'm like, okay. So I flip the light on, and they have these little glowing things, like make it look like ghosts or whatever on the wall to celebrate Halloween, I guess. Well, that ain't it. Then they had like these weird looking pictures of haunted things that was, it's like a temporary thing in there with people with like just gory. It was gory, y'all. And then they had this fake plastic knife that was laying down on the counter that had like fake blood, you know, somewhere. And um, they had a picture of somebody like hung like from, you know, on there. It was just really weird. And then on the bathroom um, where you dry your hands, you know, they didn't have any like paper towels. It's like the dryer. Well, they had this reflector image that when you go to touch the dryer, the heat made this face appear on the dryer. It freaked me out a little bit because it was a scary face. It was not a cool face at all. Pretty stinking freaky. So I'm sitting in this bathroom thinking, oh, this is really clean. It smells good. But I felt like I was going to, like, Jason or something from a horror movie was going to jump out from some, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Like, I could be taken to a cornfield or whatever, you know? I mean, it's like my mind just went racing. And I was like, this reminds me of all those horror shows I was not supposed to watch as a kid. And I did watch. And now all the memories of watching those stupid shows are <laughs> with me, like Twilight Zone. <laughs> While I'm sitting in this bathroom, just trying to tinkle and get out. So I called Patrick while I was in that bathroom. I said, could you do me a favor? He's like, what is it? I said, this bathroom is really like spooky, spooky. He goes, no, it's not. I FaceTimed and he goes, what the heck? I said, would you please come into <laughs> to this store and would you just stand by the door for me while I finish my business he goes are you kidding I said no I'm not kidding I'm I'm like this is terrifying oh. and, and so oh look y'all it's perfect all right now should we go ahead and stain this I think it would look gorgeous if we stained it a brown what do y'all think I think it would be pretty if we didn't. 
if we if we didn't if we did I think if we did not didn't um, but we could go with wait a second we could go with a pretty terracotta that would look really pretty we could also go with have y'all seen me use a lot of this mustard color this um, year I've used it on a lot of things and I really love it too um, there's just like this mustard, it's called antique gold. It's a flat gold. It's not, but it looks more like a mustard color. So we can go with a, a pretty terracotta. I don't like scary movies either. That's why this girl don't watch them no more at all. As an adult ain't happening in my house. So terracotta, y'all saying brown? You want me to go brown? Somebody says blue. Like, you're going to have to get the right kind of blue for this. And it's going to need to be like an aqua kind of blue. And I don't know if I have that light aqua blue. I don't currently. I think the terracotta might be the best. Hi, Pam. How are you? Let's see. A terracotta and a brown. If we don't like the terracotta, we can add some brown to it, too. We can. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, y'all. I think what do y'all think no okay a lot of you don't like it all right some of you do and some of you don't so let's try something else Y'all might go with my original idea, which was going to be the, t nah, I don't, the teal green, I meant the teal, I don't really think is going to look that great because the teal is not the same color of blue that's in there. Let's just do a little spot. We can always come back and over and repaint this. All right, a lot. Okay, I see some brown. Some of you are saying brown as well, so we'll check out the brown. Okay, I think the mustard brown or the mustard color looks better than the the terracotta. So no to the terracotta. Now, let's go with brown. But before I do that, let's see if I can wipe some of this off. The stain might get affected by this paint that we put on here already, y'all. Let's see if we can work it in. Let's see. Try to get some of this off as much as we can. There we go. Let's try to get some more off. Mix the orange and the mustard. That sounds like a great idea, honestly. That might be a really pretty color together, and I do like to mix. I do like to mix my colors. I could probably even mix a little bit of a light blue with a little bit of this teal blue that I have to, and it might come up with a color of blue that we want if I add some more to it too. So, but you know what else might look really pretty with these colors? If we do stain it brown, and then we come back in and maybe do a pop of um, copper, doing a pop of copper would probably look really pretty too. 
You like the picture? I'm going to wet my wood. And the reason for it is because anytime that I stain wood and I wet it, it just soaks it right in a lot better. So let's put this aside. You like that idea? You think that sounds prettier? Well, let me make sure I can read your comment. Um, the brown with the copper. You guys have seen me use a lot of the brown with the copper. So don't knock it. Don't knock it. Okay, this is looking a little different to me and I'm wondering why. I don't know why, but I kind of like it. Well, the frame, the reason I can't flip the frame over is because the frame on the other side has a really big chunk that I made by accident. So yeah, I won't be using that side because it's got a little imperfection that I'm gonna cover up and it's gonna be glued down, so. Yeah. But we will do our best. We will get it fixed. We will figure it out, not a big deal. We will figure it out. It's only paint, right? We can paint right over anything. But I know this girl's gonna have to go by and get me some Waverly stain tomorrow. Cause I'm down at the very bottom of mine. Brown and copper are definitely gorgeous together. I agree, 110%. It's pretty awesome. It looks like camel. Kind of does a little bit, doesn't it? I do like the way it looks up here, though. I do like that look. Just add a little bit more in there. And we'll just continue to let it soak and dry in there. I always try my best to figure things out. Hey, that's what grandma says. Don't let it defeat you. And sometimes you'll find out that your mistakes wind up being your masterpiece. Did y'all know that? It does. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes your mistakes wind up being your masterpiece. Happy mistakes. Okay, it's not really dark. So I'm going to dry it and then I think we'll try doing some dry brushing with some gold on there. Hey, Hazel, I am so happy to see you. It's been forever. How are you? You love it already? Well, let's dry it up so it'll not bleed all the color on there. Yeah, this is the frame. This is this frame. And I'm thinking I'm going to go back and get a lot more of these frames. I, there's a lot of different ideas I think I can do with these that I would really love to do. One is I would love to make a Victorian Christmas scene and then do this with. But I want to take the frames and make them thicker, so I want to glue them together. Hey, Sherry. Um to make it thicker and make it pop up off the um, another frame that I want to put it in. This came from Dollar Tree. I just cut out the middle of it. But what I like about this one is it looks like a crown at the top. Doesn't it sound beautiful to make a Victorian scene with this type of, yeah, I think that would be gorgeous. I mean, look at this already. But what we need to do is the back of it is so stark white. I'm going to come in and do a little distressing. Okay, I'm going to leave the center of it white. 
where the pumpkins are, but I'm going to go around and do some distressing around the rest of it, okay? Um, I cut the middle out using um, X-Acto knife and um, scissors. This white part is wood from Dollar Tree. That's what that is. Wood from Dollar Tree. So, I'm just going to bring a little bit of this in. Not going to touch that napkin, y'all. Going to leave that napkin alone. And I'm just going to touch the rest of this. And then I'm going to take a napkin and I'm going to go back over. And then I'm just going to um, kind of smear it and blend it. Smear it and blend it. Somebody needs prayers? I didn't get to see that. Whatever it is, Heavenly Father, you know what it is. We just ask that you answer it according to your will for their needs in the name of Jesus. All right. Thank you, Kathy. I try to come up with things that I know is totally different than what others do. But I'm not saying I haven't come up with the same idea as others. Because, you know, we all are somehow do that. But I try not to. I really try to come up with original ideas. But it happens every once in a while. Um, do I think that glue does better than Mod Podge? So you see how I went in and kind of did that distressing around it, but I, the inside of it, I stayed white. Um, I personally like glue better than Mod Podge for a lot of reasons. The price is one. All right, now you see that distressing, but it still is completely white in the middle. All right. Um, I'm going to do something. Do something. I want to just do something because I want to do it. Ah, there we go. Okay, this is a darker turquoise, but I'm tapping a lot of the paint off. And as I put it over the top of the brown, it blends to a different color. It picks up a little bit of the blue. Okay. Picks a little bit of that blue up. I'm just going to go around the outer edges of it. So, come on. There we go. Oh, that was too much. There we go. Ooh, I love, I love the look of that, y'all. I'm just saying, I really love the look of that. You really won't be able to see it from a far distance away, but blending it together, you can see the colors um, kind of like all coming together. here. Okay. 
a night sky. Kind of, I guess it could fall for that. I guess you could say it could fall for that. Hey, Teresa. All right, so here we go. You can see that color in there. All right, I like it like that. Now, 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 we're gonna bring in that copper that we were talking about. Yes, we're gonna bring in a little copper. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do with this copper, get that off my paintbrush. Tap in here, and I'm going to come across my frame. I'm also going to bring some in here. It's getting hot up in here tonight. Is it, is storms, is it what it is? The storms I think are supposed to be here tomorrow, isn't it? Are you wanting to see what the frame looks like with this highlighted gold on there? Let's see if we can let you see it. Let's see. All right, hold on. There you go. Look at that. You can see it. You can see the gold. It's actually called copper. Um, this is deco art. This is deco art. I want to make sure I go around and I hit the outside of this the most. I really want the outside frame to kind of just like really pop. So it might take a little time to go in there and blend that in, but it'll be pretty. Okay, let's put those in here. And you still see the brown from the frame as well, which looks real nice. I think it'll just give it a little bit more of a high-end high end look, though. So just be uh, almost like a dry brushing is what I'm doing to it, okay? Oh, Sheila, I envy you, girl. I want it to be so cold here in Florida right now, but we're supposed to have a cold front come tomorrow, supposedly in the 60s, which means I'll be able to break out some boots and I'm tickled pink about... And y'all know I've used a lot of this copper this year. Have y'all seen it? And a lot of the uh, other fall DIYs I've done, they were so pretty, y'all. I made a giant pumpkin with a blue, this copper, um, a pumpkin or orange color, and it was something uh, awesome. And I did like a splatter paint design on top of it too. Oh my word, y'all. It literally looked like a designer pumpkin to me. And it was huge. Huge. Do y'all remember it? It was really big. All right. Here's the frame. Look at it. There's the frame. 
you're in Florida and Destin. So Michelle, um, is that Kristen or was it Michelle that went by? You, um, hopefully should experience some cool weather as well. Like that copper, me too. All right, so we're just gonna blend that in a little bit down here, not too much. A little bit up here. Come in right there. Let's see where we're going to go with this. I'm really loving the copper, y'all. I like the copper on the white. I like the copper on the brown. All right, let's see. Y'all want to see it? Thank you. I had these earrings in my shop a couple of years ago and they turned out so pretty. Ooh, ooh. Now, now, you know what I'm going to do to make all of this pop in together? We're going to get one of my small paint brushes. It's the details. It's the small details that count. And we, my friends, are going to go in All right, and we're just gonna come in and we're gonna bring some of this. Oh, I got water in my brush. Let me get that water off. There we go. And we're gonna put it in highlights on this pumpkin. It's gonna pop everything together so nicely and so pretty. So wherever I saw the deep browns, I'm bringing in the copper. And we just took this Dollar Tree items and we just really took it up a notch, made this look so high end. Well, at least for me anyway. Just gonna bring that around here. And we're gonna bring it in a little bit where all the squigglies are going. We'll come in a little bit more. I'm sorry, sometimes when I paint, I'm one of those silent painters. Um I really get into it. I like it. All right, let me look. Ooh, all right, but, but, um, this is deco art. We also need to bring this in on this blue pumpkin as well and a little bit in here. We don't wanna leave those left undone because that's gonna look a little silly. So wherever we see <clears throat> on this pumpkin, We'll bring that in a little bit. I see you now, Brenda. How are you, girl? It's hard to see everybody sometimes, sweetie, whenever I'm looking down at my project, but I just saw you. I hope you're having a wonderful, fr uh, actually, this is Saturday. Friday was yesterday. Weekend. Weekend.
Great detail. Awesome. Wait until you see it, though. That's the part you're going to like. Wait until you see it all together. Alright, so we're just going to blend that in. A little bit here. A little bit there. A little bit here and there and everywhere. Let's bring it in with our pumpkin just a little bit too with the stems. Can y'all see all the Gordon? I'm in mean, here. Not done yet, but can you see there? There you go. Look, if the light hits it, you're going to be able to see and see how it all blends together. It looks good. You like it? Awesome. I don't know about you, but this year, like I said, this year, copper has really been my thing. Um, I've really been liking the copper look this year. I'm almost considering putting it into my Christmas. I want to do a metallic in my Christmas, but I'm just not sure what color to go with. What do y'all think? Like a rose gold for the Christmas? Do you think that would be pretty, or should I do... A different kind of gold or a copper which one and guess what I ain't done because guess what I have some white pearl so you know what I can do I can even make this background right here pop with the pearl how about that how about that? Let's see, rose and copper gold. Rose gold and copper? What colors, though, are you thinking of mixing with rose gold? Like, what colors of would you do Christmas-wise? Um, Roxanne, I do still have a necklace and a shirt available. Um, I have to tell you what size. I only have like one size left of each, I think. The pearl was something I picked up on a clearance from uh, Target. I think it was uh, over a year ago. So it's going to look like it's wet, but it's really not. An ivory and copper. An ivory and rose pink. Now, I've been told that doing rose pink, or I mean, um, a pink would look great with rose, a rose color. That's what I'm hearing. And I'm when I see it in, like, any kind of designer stuff, it looks really pretty. So... Um... What colors? Y'all are saying red? You think that copper looks good with red? Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, I'm not saying I haven't. I'll have to look at it together and see what it looks like. Pink and gold. I, I mean, that's also a little bit more... Um, I'm going to add a little bit of white to some of the highlights in the pumpkins, too. I think that pink and gold reminds me a little bit more of a Victorian Christmas. Am I right or wrong? That's what it reminds me of. A little Victorian Christmas. Cream with rose. Blue and rose. That also reminds me a little bit of uh, Victorian Christmas. Back in the day, I actually had a tree that was a Victorian Christmas tree. I sure did. All right, let me just finish that up real quick. Mint green. Oh, that's pretty. Mint green with pink. That is a pretty color together. I totally agree. 
that I think would look, you could go either way. All right, let's just do a little bit over here. Just filling it in at the top where the white space is. I'm gonna dry it, we're gonna connect it. Black, cream, and copper, ooh, yes. Now I do like that. That sounds like it's a very rich tr like tree. That looks like a very, it sounds like an elegant tree. Black, cream, and copper. Yes. I like that. You know what other colors are really pretty together? I just thought about it. That aqua blue. Not a teal, but like the Tiffany blue. Tiffany blue with pink and copper is a real pretty color too. Yep, looks good together. All right, now the whole top has been shimmered and then portions of the bottom has been shimmered. So I think I'm done with all of that. just adds a little accent. All right, let's get this glued on, completed up and put, let's see how that bow is gonna look if we put that down here. I think I just got paint on my face. I think I did, right on my cheek. It does have a little bit of a wrinkle to it, but I like the wrinkles in it, so it's not a bug. I like things that has wrinkles in it when it comes to like my projects because I feel like that just makes it, like gives it more character. Um, I do um, at least one tree every year that I try to make different. So there's like, I do have like one tree, like my husband's tree, it's always like a woodland theme or I wouldn't say woodland theme. Um, it's got like his hunting stuff on there. So that I um, definitely have that one I do every year. And then I have a family uh, tree that we do. And also the candy tree. My husband says I always, I have to put up the candy tree. Everything else. Now last year I did a Pioneer Woman inspired tree. I made all of my ornaments for my Pioneer Woman tree last year. Do y'all remember that? Do you? Super pretty y'all. Okay. Um, that's Gorilla Glue. Now, we made this big bow. Big bow. I don't want to hide all this stuff in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we made a Grinch tree a couple of years ago. Yep, we do. We have a Grinch tree too. So all of this was originated because of this bow. So do y'all think the bow would still look cute on there? I do. Yes to the bow or no to the bow? Yeah, the Grinch tree for sure because my husband drew the face and the hands and built the chimney. We built the chimney out of some two by fours and put a half of our tree. How that came about is half my tree broke 
and uh, I was going to throw it away. And my husband was like, well, didn't you want a Grinch tree? And I said, yeah. He goes, well, what do you want it to look like? I said, I kind of would like the Grinch tree to be like where it looks like the Grinch was coming out of the chimney or going down in. And so, um, yeah, I like the bow. You're not sure about the bow. You're not sure about the bow. Y'all are making me second guess myself but about it now. And maybe add some green, um, some florals down here instead. Maybe. No, if I put it at the top, it's going to um, completely cover up the picture of the um, pumpkins inside. So, let me cut off this tag. So with that said, I like the bow, but I feel like it's I feel like it's not, like it's too big for this. That's why I wanted to find out what you girls thought. And I almost feel like maybe if I did anything, just something very simple with some floral that I can put down here. Um, that's what I was thinking. I think that bow it's either floral or bow floral or bow so I can mix these down here I'll show you. I think I like that better. And then I'll put something. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. I like that better. So let me cut these. Okay. And we'll do one there and one here. And then for that one, we'll do that one up here and this one down here. All right, that's what we'll do. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. one over here. The leaves, yes. These leaves are better. Let me 
me set that in there for just a second and let the glue dry. Because it's got the color of leaves. See, it's got the color in there that's blending, okay? So let's do that. Let's put a little bit of Excelsior in here. Bring that down as I need to. That color's in there. All right, and then I will go with. See if I'm gonna go with this color of pumpkin. Let's see. I think I want to go with a rust orange flower because that one I can go with a pumpkin in there, but that looks kind of cute too, y'all. Hey Dahlia, good night, love. I don't like that color in there. We'll get it. I'm not afraid of it. We will definitely get it. That's what we're going to bring in. That's that. And then I will probably bring in a See if I like the cream colored. I can pop this one in there and put a little bit of gold on my pumpkin if I want to. Oh, that's too much. That's better. That one is better. So I'm gonna go with that one. If I cut it in half, it'll look like that. If that's one of what you're talking about. Do you want it like that? Cut the pumpkin in half that way. Or we can do it like this. Because I like it better like this, personally. That's me. You want me to lay the pumpkin on its side? I don't think I like it that way. That's just me. I don't like it like that. Because when I do it like this, then I don't really have that centerpiece. I don't know. I don't know.
All right, these colors I'm going to put in there because it matches. Do it the way I had it. That's what I was thinking. I'll try it. We'll see. We will see. I won't rule it out, but I might see if there's a smaller pumpkin right here, which I do have, but this one. I'll do the smaller pumpkin. And I'm not going to cut it in half. I'll just put it as my um, centerpiece. That's what I will do. And then add a little bit of um, copper to it. So let me glue those down. Put that in there. Put that in there. We'll put that in there. Let's do these. Move that out of the way. Way, way, way. Way, way, way. Sometimes you can start putting too much. And I think I'll put that one right on top. And I'll leave it alone. <coughs> Just build it up a little bit more with ex Excelsior around it. There we go. I'll trim that down and cut it down just a little bit too. Let me hold it in place and I'll show you. Let me trim this down. Pull that out of the way just a little bit. All right, I'm going to add a little gold, like I said, I'm going to add a little copper detail right there. Yeah, it looks like I'm not going to please everybody. Yeah, I know. But that's the great thing about it. They get to make one for themselves and make it the way they want to, right? I mean, I love everybody's opinion, and I like taking some of their opinions, too, because, like, you know, that's what I did with deciding what we were doing. But sometimes I just, um, as I look at it, I'm like, hmm, hmm, maybe... Maybe not. Like, yeah, like, like she said, you do you. You do you, boo. Little bit of copper in here. He's done. I'm just going to add a little stem. And he's going to be done. I've been painting my leaves with this metallic a lot. And I really like it because I like the way it pops. So... Just the thing I'm doing this year, y'all. It's just the thing I'm doing. May not be the way I feel about it next year, though. But for this year, I'm liking it. So, 
that's where I want you to encourage you to just do something if you find that you really like and go with it. Just go with it. Okay. Let's see, a little bit right here. Alrighty. I think I'm done. Let me show you. Just a little stem. Just a little stem. That's what it needs for the front. So let me grab one of these. Mm, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Needs a little glue. For that little stem and then it's done. I'm not gonna do anything else to it down there. You can see the little gold that's coming in on the leaves. Yeah, I feel like that it just adds the color. It's not too overpowering because, you know, like you said, everything is in the pumpkins with all that pretty glam. So I just kind of wanted this to, what's the word, complement it. See the colors? I wanted it to complement it. So, yeah. Now, if you want to be um, hanger, that would be the only thing that I would say you can do is put a bead hanger on there if you wanted to. If you want to paint them all copper color, um, that would be really, really pretty. You could do that. If you want to leave it, you know, with your string, you can do that too. Or um, if you just want to use a burlap, If you want to hang it from just burlap too, you can do that too. Thanks, April. So yeah, it turned out pretty good. I'm pleased with it. Yeah, I like it. I had to look at it and think about it's different, but I like it. And I like that it's different. So. Thanks, friends. Thank you. She's pretty. All right, girlfriends, that was a wrap for tonight. So if you go to Dollar Tree, grab yourself a few of these. Um, I'm also gonna go back and grab a few of these too. Thank you for the stars. Um, and I'm gonna take this out. Just take the insides of it out. Now this right now, if you wanna take this out, cut off the bats you can actually make this look like a church if you want to do that. Um, that would be kind of cool to do. That would be really fun. Have a great Sunday, you as well, friends. And if you didn't catch all earlier, um, there was a real, um, a short video that's uploaded that's showing all of these gorgeous necklaces that has been um, something that we're adding. So, oops. Um, if you would like them, just message me and I can send you an invoice because they're all different. So go check out the colors. I know that number one is gone, number three is gone, and number six is gone. Those I know for sure are gone. And then the brooch is gone. Both brooches are gone too. So 
Um, I think we only have two, four, and five left. I'm pretty sure. Okay, girlfriends, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Thanks for being with me.